The Excel XIRR function is a financial function that returns the internal rate of return for a series of cash flows that occur at regular or irregular intervals. Here is the syntax. Values array or reference to cells that contain a series of cash flows. Payments are expressed as negative values and incomes as positive values. If the first value is a cost or payment, it must be a negative value. The initial investment is not discounted. Subsequent payments are brought back to the date of the first cash flow and discounted based on a 365 day year. Dates A schedule of payment dates that corresponds to the cash flow payments. They can be regular or irregular intervals. All dates are truncated to integers, meaning that the fractional part of the date that represents time is removed. Dates must be valid Excel dates entered as references to cells containing dates or results of formulas such as the date function. Dates may occur in any order. The date of the initial investment must be first in the array. Guess a number that you guess is close to the result of XIRR supplied as percentage or decimal. If omitted, Excel uses the default rate of 0.1 or 10%. The XIRR function uses iteration to arrive at a result. Starting with guess, XIRR iterates through a calculation until the result is accurate to 0.501%. If no result is found after 100 tries, XIRR function returns the pound num error. For example, we have an initial investment of $70,000 with a varying income from it for the next 12 years. The payments are made at regular intervals January 1st of every year. Use this formula to calculate the internal rate of return. C2 to C14 are cash flows. D2 to D14 are the corresponding dates. The guess argument is omitted. XIRR returns a decimal value. Format it as percentage. Click on the number format in the home tab. Select the percentage and select the number of decimal places. Calculate the internal rate of return using the IRR function. Excel's XIRR function calculates a more accurate internal rate of return because it takes the dates into consideration. There is a difference in the internal rate of return values calculated using both functions. Internally, XIRR works much in the same way as IRR. It calculates the present value of each cash flow individually, iterating through rate guesses until the sum of the present values is zero. It bases the present value calculations on the number of days between the current cash flow and the one just previous in date order. So XIRR can calculate internal rate of return for irregular periods. For example, we have a regular cash flow intervals in column D. Use this formula to calculate the internal rate of return. Pass the range of cash flows and dates. The dates can be in any order. For example, change the order of dates and corresponding cash flows. The date of the first cash flow initial investment should be first in the array. The internal rate of return is the same in both the cases. XIRR expects at least one positive and one negative cash flow. Otherwise, XIRR returns the pound num error. Here we have only positive cash flow values. The XIRR returns a pound num error. If any of the date is not a valid date, XIRR returns the pound value error. The date in D9 is invalid. If the values and dates range contain a different number of values, XIRR returns the pound num error. If you know what kind of return you are expecting from an investment, you can use that as a guess. It is especially helpful if you know when a correct XIRR formula displays a pound num error. If XIRR can't find a result that works after 100 tries, the pound num error is returned even when all the values passed are correct. Pass the anticipated return rate minus 15% as the guess argument. 
Excel uses this guess and returns the internal rate of return. XIRR in Excel always returns an annualized internal rate of return even when calculating monthly or weekly cash flows. Calculate the internal rate of return for the same series of cash flows that occur monthly and yearly. The internal rate of return is 15.71% in case of yearly cash flows. The internal rate of return for the same values for monthly cash flows is 482.18. The XIRR function returns the annualized internal rate of return for monthly cash flows. To find an approximate monthly internal rate of return using XIRR function, you can use this formula where G5 is the result of the regular XIRR formula. You can also use the XIRR function directly in the formula. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.